Smile and learn. Welcome back to Science Madness. In today's program, we're going to learn more about electricity. We'll create an electrical circuit and we'll find out which materials are conductors and insulators. Are you ready? We will start by building an electrical circuit, which, as you know, is a closed path that electric charges flow through. I will need two wires, a light bulb, and a battery. We will attach one end of the wire to the light bulb and the other to one of the battery's ends. I'll repeat the same steps with the other wire and voila! We've just created an electrical circuit. The electric charges flow from the battery to the light bulb through the wires. And as a result, the light bulb lights up. Isn't it impressive? If I disconnect this circuit, the electric current stops flowing and the light bulb turns off. When I reattach the wire, the light bulb turns back on. How cool is that? Let's make this more interesting. What would happen if I added this spoon to the circuit? Do you think the light bulb would still work? Would you like to make a bet? Ta-da! The light bulb came on! Amazing, isn't it? Just like the copper inside the wires, this spoon is made of metal, and metal is a great conductor of electricity. Silver, iron, or aluminum are examples of conductive metals. Conductive materials allow electrical charges to flow through them and therefore are the best materials to add to an electrical circuit. But conductive materials aren't only metals. Water, for example, is also a conductive material. Curious, isn't it? Let's try another type of material. Look at this rubber ducky. If we attach it to the circuit, what will happen? Will the light bulb turn on? Ooh, the light bulb didn't turn on. The little ducky is made of rubber, and rubber is an insulating material. Insulating materials do not allow electric charges to flow through them. That's why the light bulb didn't light up. Other materials such as paper, plastic, or glass are also insulators. As you know, electricity can be very dangerous. So insulating materials are used to protect us from it. For example, the outside of wires are made of plastic, and electricians' gloves are made of rubber. Well, I think that's it, friends. I hope you had fun and at the same time learned a lot of interesting things about electricity. See you soon! We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.